Hey guys, it's Kate. I am a qualified yoga teacher and I'm going to tell you today three things I get asked all the time in my yoga classes. Okay, so first one is, I have a pain in my whatever. Um, do you have any exercises that is going to help that? And while I can give sort of general, well, you know, there are perhaps some things that might lengthen or strengthen, something that would support this type of thing, um, I have to specify that I am not a medical professional, yeah? And quite often yoga teachers are kind of put into this category um, and people will assume that you know how to fix their medical injury <laughs> and it's not the case okay so i would say if you are a new beginner or a beginner to yoga your yoga teacher is going to be able to give you potentially some um, nice movements that you might be able to do to mobilize to strengthen that kind of thing but they don't know anything about your medical injury a lot of the time many many teachers have only done a, a one month training or a 200 hour training and that did not include very much anatomy or anatomical training okay and they have no medical knowledge whatsoever so the first thing I always say to these people is have you had it checked by the doctor have you had it checked by the doctor? If they say, yes, I have, and they, I say, okay, can you tell me exactly what the doctor said? Are you allowed to practice yoga? Is it okay with your medical professional, your medical person that you practice today? Um, you know, if they say, yes, it is, then I say, okay, how's your pain levels? Do you have pain when you do certain movements because you don't want to like, you know, get into pain? Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I can offer some movements that would potentially fit with their body, their anatomy, their movement abilities and things like that. Um, but yeah, that was the first question. Uh, the second question I get asked all the time in yoga is, should I be following a specific diet, right? And yet, of course, in the yogic tradition, there is this tradition of um, being vegetarian, um, not eating certain foods like garlic and onions and things like that in some traditions of yoga. Um, but I honestly don't practice any kind of restriction or limitation on my diet. Um, I have struggled in the past with borderline eating disorders and I am not going to restrict my body in any way, shape or form. So while I can say to people, this is my, the way I do it, um, I am not a nutritionalist or a nutritionist and I have no clue what your nutritional needs are for your body. Um, and I can't tell you what you can and cannot or should or shouldn't eat and it's not my business, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna have to do another one of these because I'm running out of time.